Sub with Justin is a fantastic experiment because it takes human robotic interaction up to a new level. We have a, a test here of a robotic system that is controlled by uh, an astronaut in, in a spacecraft, in a, in a space station in this case, and the robot is actually located on the surface of a planet. Well, uh, in this case, it's a test planet, it's Earth, right? Later on, this could be Mars, it could be the Moon. All right, I'm coming a bit closer to the SBU-1. The scenario is, is as we are the crew on orbit around Mars and we send the rover down there as the first scout to see how the conditions are like, uh, whether it's safe, what the uh, atmospheric parameters are. And uh, so we command that rover, but uh, the difference to how rovers were commanded in the past is that this rover actually knows to navigate uh, by himself. So I don't have to tell him every uh, millimeter to move in which direction or what to do exactly, but I just give him high level commands like check out this, uh, this uh, solar panel or uh, pick up this rock and he will actually do that. So we would send a robot, for example, to the surface of Mars who um, scouts out all the surroundings and we can control it from uh, the spacecraft in orbit uh, around Mars. It's still important that we do that, um, that we're close by as humans because, of course, uh, Mars can be as far away as 20 minutes of light speed travel time, meaning like all controls that somebody on Earth would send would take 20 minutes to go forth and back. So it's much easier to do when a human does that right from an orbital uh, around Mars, controlling that robot, and then doing those first steps of exploration on the new planet. This is an exciting robotics test. It will take us to a new level of autonomous robots co uh, cooperating with humans. And that's not only useful, of course, for exploration, uh, that is very useful also on Earth. For example, you're in a remote location and, and you get really sick and you need surgery, but the specialist is not around, he's on a different continent. Well, you could have um, a robotic surgery performed uh, remotely over a remote connection from another continent. So as often in spaceflight, we develop one thing, but it's uh, useful all over the place.